Hi, I am Aliza Tanbeer from Skillcurve. In this video, you will learn how to set up a single node Spark and running it in local mode from the command line. And to do so, first we are going to download the Spark binaries. Then we are going to start the Spark command line shell and test installation. Then we are going to download and install the WinUtils. And then finally, we are going to set up the Hadoop home and run the PySpark. So the first step is to download the Spark binaries and for that you have to go to the link spark.apache.org. Once you land on the page, click on the download tab and here you have to select a suitable Spark version, a package type and then select the Spark compressed format. Here I am going to go with the latest release which is 3.4.0 and then I am going to click on this download Spark link. And once you click on it, you will land on this page, click on this particular link and your download will be started okay and once your spark is downloaded right click it and extract the content here okay so now your spark has been downloaded once you click on it you can see that there are multiple folders inside a spark folder but the bin folder is the place where all the command line tools are present let's click on it and here you will see two versions of each of the command first one is a shell script and the other one is a cmd file i'll be using the cmd one since i am working on the windows operating system the shell script can be used on the linux operating system or mac os okay let's go back and you can see that there are other directories as well but let's not worry about them at this stage i'm going to move this directory to another drive uh, I'm going to move it to my F drive okay so the first step completes here the next step is to download the spark shell command line tool and test the installation and for that I'm going to open the command line from this directory so that the CMD opens from the current directory but you can also open it from any other location and then use the CD command to navigate to your current directory now I'm going to try to run the spark shell and for that I'm going to write the command spark shell and once you click the enter you will see that it has returned us an error saying that it did not find the winutils.exe java.io.file not found exception hadoop home is not present okay so if you were running the spark shell on the linux or the mac os then this command should run fine but in order to run this on the windows you need the winutils and to do so you have to go to your browser and from here you have to go to the following directory on github representing the following winutils and from here you have to download your required winutil directory this is the one that i am working with so i am going to download this one I have downloaded the winutils and I have copied it inside the Hadoop folder inside my app directory. You can find it here showing the winutils.exe file. So this marks the completion of our second step which was to download and install the winutils. Now we are moving towards the next step which is to set up the Hadoop home. And the Hadoop home should point out to the home directory of winutils. And to do so, go to your Hadoop directory and copy its path. Then you have to open the command prompt from the current directory in which you are working. So type cmd and you will be redirected to here. Now you have to write a command set x Hadoop underscore home. And then you have to paste the path where your winutil directory is present. Okay. Then press enter and you can see that the specified value has been saved. Now close it and we can also verify it if the path has been successfully set or not. Once again open the command prompt and type the command echo hadoop underscore home and then the dollar sign. And you can see that the path has been set. And now we can run the spark shell once again and for that go back to your spark directory and inside the bin folder open the command prompt from here once the command prompt is open now we can run the command spark shell and you can see that now it has run without any errors but 
This series is all about Spark programming using Python and the Spark Python shell is known as PySpark. But here you can see that the current default started shell is the Scala shell. So the PySpark requires Python in order to run it so you must have Python in your system. Let's check whether the Python is present or not. Go it from the Scala and once again here I am going to type PySpark to see it runs or not. And you can see that it has shown me the version of Python which means that Python has been installed in my system. But if you do not have Python, I recommend you to install any version of Python or Anaconda in order to use PySpark properly. And once I run the command spark.version, it has shown me that the Spark version installed is 3.4.0, which is the one that we just downloaded in the beginning of this video. And that's all for this video. Thank you.